Small businesses continue to feel the impact of rolling blackouts in and around Louis Trichard in Limpopo. Some of the restaurants are facing closure due to power cuts. They lose revenue each time the power cuts come into effect during business hours. Let's get more on this with SABC News reporter Rutendo Bobori who is standing by for us. A very good afternoon to you. Just explain to us where you are and what's happening. Thank you so much, Zinga. I'm here at uh, Makado Township, that just outside Lutrichat. Uh, it's also popularly known as uh, Biaba. We just came here just to look at um, the impact of um, load shedding uh, on the people here, particularly uh, on, on, on business, especially small uh, businesses. As you said, you said in your intro, a lot of um, the businesses here are on the verge of just shutting down. You can imagine about 12 and a half hours of no electricity. You can imagine the impact um, on the people, uh, not just the people uh, or residents themselves, but also uh, uh, these uh, small businesses. A lot of people here are unemployed. It's a relatively poor um, a community where a lot of people are unemployed and they depend on their own businesses uh, to and to make it to make a living. Some, um, especially um, uh, selling food, uh, refreshments to people who come to this little town because it's a uh, it's, it's one town that's always buzzing with uh, activity. Uh, a lot of people are saying, "Look, we don't have electricity." for about 12 and a half hours or so. Our meat are rotting and, and we, we, we just throw them away uh, because we, we, we can't, of course, uh, cook them because they are not, uh, I mean, they, 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 the meat is not fresh, they can't cook it and they can't sell it to, to people. People themselves are no longer patronizing their businesses um, because they are not coming to town um, because of lack of um, uh, ele electricity. Um, I, I'm, I've, we've been talking here since this morning to one of the uh, restaurant owners here, his name is Rangwezi Mrauzi, um, they call him here. Uh, uh, Mr. Salad is uh, known for catering and, and selling food for, to a lot of people around here and he joins me now. I'm going to ask him um, on the imp about the impact of uh, Lord Shedding uh, on his business. What about the food? What about the Lord Shedding? What about the food? 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 What about the Nendifisa la dimraudi rangwe zindwa na rapa biaba kala njerele. Amu dagasu ukori vai sanga manda. Rifambi rubuto ungunga wa mudagasu ukori vai sanga uri. Zilwa zwasu ziko chini ala rikoto rapa. Zikastama azichabo nara. Rarichibari na zikastama njinga manda. Nabashumi vora aridivizwa uri. Riva badelenga mini nga ntani ya mudagasu. Yeah, basically what he's saying uh, right now is that um, because of lack of electricity, uh, the impact is big on his business and now he's not generating as much income as he used to and now he doesn't even know um, how he will pay his workers. It's affecting his uh, uh, salary bill uh, quite uh, deeply. He also said earlier that um, he's uh, on the verge of uh, shutting it down. He said to shut it down because, of course, people are not coming through uh, because of this lack of electricity. Well, well, what he's uh, essentially saying is that uh, he started this business because he was not working and in the process he employed uh, quite a few people and now he's uh, set to shut it down. If this uh, problem of power cuts is not resolved anytime soon, he'll have uh, to shut it down. It's not just him. Um, a few shops around here have already uh, shut down. One of the most um, popular restaurants here has already shut down. We don't know what will uh, happen to the workers who've been working there but for about three or so days now they've not been operating Zinga.
Lieutenant Mabori, giving us an update there as we focus on how the rolling blackouts across South Africa are crippling, among other things, small businesses.